Well, hello and welcome to this exercise uh, in which we solve equations by substitution and uh, is a typical um, IGCSE, GCSE or high school algebra type of question. And the first one says, um, solve the equation 2t is equal to 9 plus 5 over t. And part 2 says, hence or otherwise, uh, solve the equation 2 times x to the power of a half is equal to 9 plus 5 x to the power of a half. Okay, now for the first one, if we then write the uh, equation as given to us, 2t is equal to 9 plus 5 over t, if we then multiply every term by t, we end up with 2t squared is equal to 9t plus 5. If we then subtract 9t and 5 from both sides, we end up with 2t squared minus 9t minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, instead of writing minus 9t, I can write minus, I can write, sorry, I can write 2t squared plus t minus 10t minus 5. Because uh, t minus 10t is the as um, 9t. So I've, so I've made no difference at all. Okay. Right. Now, I can factorize in groups, I can factorize this little bit here, 2t squared plus t, firstly. And then factorize 10t minus 5. Okay, now for the first section, I have t into 2t plus 1. And for the second section, I have 5 into 2t plus 1. Now for both sections, I got 2t plus 1 common to both. So I can now say that 2t plus 1 into t minus 5 is equal to 0. So if 2t plus 1 is equal to 0, which means that t is equal to minus 1 half. Or I can say if t minus 5 is equal to 0, then t is equal to 5. So we have that t is equal to minus 1 half or t is equal to 5. Okay, moving on. Second part, it says, hence or otherwise, solve the equation 2 to the power, sorry, 2x to the power for half is equal to 9 plus 5x to the power of a half. Now, if we substitute x to the power of a half for t, we, we end up with x to the power of a half is equal to 5 because t is equal to 5. If we then square both sides, we end up with x equal to 5 squared or x equal to 25. Secondly, if t is equal to minus a half, then x to the power of a half becomes, sorry, x to the power of a half is equal to minus a half. If we then square both sides, we end up with x squared, sorry, end up with x equal to minus a half all squared. And minus a half all squared is same as a quarter, so x is one quarter. So we have that x is one quarter of 25. If you have not subscribed, please, please subscribe and thank you for watching and bye bye now.